The water level of the River Clyde has dropped to its lowest in decades after a tidal weir stopped working. One of the three gates of the mechanism controlling the depth near Albert Bridge has jammed open. People have been warned to stay away from the area after the surrounding ground became unstable and started to crumble. Claire McNeil reports. Flowing through the centre of Glasgow, the Clyde is normally around 30 feet deep. But after the tidal weir which maintains the water level failed, the river dropped to around half that in a matter of hours. The extent of it has surprised those who work on the Clyde on a daily basis. I have never, never seen the river as low as this. We've had a couple of times where there's been problems at the weir and we've put the gates down behind when, in the old days when the electricity stopped working and things like this, but uh, it's never lasted more than a few hours. The 40-tonne gate jammed open yesterday morning. The shrinking water levels have caused the banks to become unstable and damage has spread to the surrounding streets. We've never seen anything like this. Well, streets have been blocked off, uh, different areas. Our boats are beached, damaged here. Uh, as soon as the water falls, they land on the rocks, so they could be punctured. The barrels underneath the pontoon could be really badly damaged. The damage is never taking its toll on everybody, the community around about the areas. The Council, Emergency Services and SEPA have all been working to try and repair the issue, but urge people to stay away from the riverside until they do. One of our main concerns at the moment is in respect of public safety, to make sure those routes along the, the Clyde side are closed off at the moment. And we are putting out uh, communications to all local residents and to those using uh, the river bank uh, to keep well away from the embankments. After more than 36 hours, there's still no word on when the weir or subsequent damage will be repaired. Claire McNeil, STV News, Glasgow.